How's it going? There we go. We got the Craig bot started. <sighs> and see Kelsifer. Come on up. Mega Motion. Come on up. Hello, hello, hello. Hey yo. Hello. Uh I think since we since we technically started a couple minutes late, I think we should just go ahead and get right down to it. Uh all right. Sounds uh, good to you, me. Yeah, would you I was gonna say, would you be willing to uh do the honors? Yep. First of all, welcome everybody. Sonic Revolution 2023 Digital Day Two. My name is Dustin the Wind. My good friend Josh Hodgson here with us. What's up? And the crew behind the always amazingly done Sonic Saturday and Reduced. Absolutely. Hello. Everyone. Hello. Pleasure to have you. It's great to be here. I'm shocked we we've been invited. To be honest. Yeah, I'm, I mean, I would. I mean, I would say it's well deserved. I was literally watch, I was literally watching it earlier. <laughs> I'm not just saying this because I'm one of those. And <laughs> uh, <laughs> caught you. <laughs> but uh, yeah. Well, we will get right into it. Just letting everybody know one question per person, so that way everybody can get a chance. Uh, we will be reading questions from both the text chat and bringing up people to uh, speak on stage here. And we're going to go ahead and get started and bring our first person up. We are going to bring up Mayito Not Found. Come on up, Mayito. Hello. Hey there. Yo. Hello. There. Hello. Um, Thanks for joining us. Yep. Uh, okay. Where to start? Uh, let's see. Um, what, is, what is your favorite moment on the uh, Sonic the Hedgehog Reduced? Oh, there's a lot of great moments. Um, I really love a lot of Stoven's work. He's in the chat here. Uh, he did the scene with the cheetah bot running past Sonic with the 3D background. Oh, I love that one. Uh-huh. It, it's <laughs> yeah. so good. It's so atmospheric. Um, I love the scene with the Terry Bogard reference where Sally's going, come on, come on. I always rewatch that one. Um, I, honestly, there's just so many scenes that, um, throughout the years I've watched over and over again. So it's, it's kind of hard to pick, but yeah, I think Stoven is a huge shout out and the project wouldn't be as great as without him, to be honest. Mm. Nice. No worries. Uh, what about you, Casper? Uh, yeah, I'll yeah. definitely, I'll definitely agree with uh, Mega Motion on there and say, yeah, I've loved a lot of uh, the shots that um, Stoven Productions has done. Like, Especially with the one he mentioned, the uh, the cheetah running with the like 3D background, like it is like it is like absolutely amazing. Um, there are a bunch of other there are a bunch of like other shots that are also like so good, like like I can't list I can't list all of them, but like each and every one of them that has been featured on a project is like so unique and like so awesome in like their own way. It's just like. It's it's just really cool. <laughs> Super cool. Way past uh, cool, even. <laughs> what about you, uh, Josh? You said you rewatched it. What, what was the scene that stood out to you? Oh man, there was God. There were so many. Um, <laughs> I know it's hard. <laughs> <laughs> um, I know there was one that I remember. Pop. There was one user I saw popping up a lot. Uh, I don't know if I'm saying their name right. A uh, Neko Star. <laughs> oh yeah, Nico, Nico, yeah. Yeah, Nico yeah. Star. Yeah, they had they had quite a bit of stuff on there, and I really uh, that I really enjoyed. I know I see uh, Evan Stout in the audience. I liked some. I liked some of their stuff. Uh, uh, warm seven, warm seventeen. Uh, I might be screwing that name right up. That was another one. I that was another one I enjoyed. Uh, I mean, uh, honestly, like I said, yeah, yeah. That also also the. Uh, also, the also the the opening theme has been stuck in my head like pretty much ever since the first time I saw it. <laughs> so, yeah, like 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 uh, with the yeah, you know, was Michael K. I believe that was their that was their name. They did they did yeah, yeah. freaking fantastic on that as well as Fox Shadow with the title card uh, title music. And oh god, there's like there's like so many. I know I like I mean. I mean, I liked a lot of some like, quite a bit of the stuff that Calcifer put in. I liked I liked the bit you had. Uh, <laughs> so, oh, yeah. Thank you. yeah, but uh, uh, but yes, uh, um, but I mean, it's, honestly, I feel like it would it would take the whole panel for me to get to me to 
say them all. And this is, and this is not, and it's not about me. It's about y'all, you know, <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but like literally everybody that's, uh, and I, I'll put, and I, you know, I saw you had a Google doc, the, uh, the, the, the list of people that had, that was, that were in the project. I'll make sure to put that in the stage room text, the end of the panel for those of y'all that want to check these people out. Cause it's going to take forever for me to list them all. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, um, thank, uh, it would, did that answer your question, Maito? Yes, that answers it a lot. Thanks. What, what about, um, yeah, what, what's your favorite scene? Oh. Oh, uh, Dust, I believe they actually had, um, she, uh, apparently had, uh, they apparently had to step away for a bit. So I'm kind of like filling in for them in the meantime. <laughs> that's uh, fine. That's fine. Don't worry. But it's, uh, but it's, uh, but it's okay. I'm, it, that's why we have co-hosts, you know? Uh, uh, but anyways, uh, alrighty. Thank you for your question, Maito. See ya. Bye. Bye. Absolutely. See you. All right. Um, I guess. Hmm. I guess I could uh, pick the next person. Let me look th- here. Who we get, who we got? Uh, let's see. Uh, let's get Giovanni of Team Rocket up here. That, I like that name. Uh, How are hello. You doing? I'm doing Hi. good. Hey. Hey, Mega Motion. I'm your biggest. Hey, fan. Giovanni. I, I've spoken to you quite a bit. It's been great. <laughs> My, okay, I'll make this uh, quick. My question to you, Mega Motion, and the rest of the team is: What inspired to make you this reduced project? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I have been a part of quite a few reanimation projects in the past, and I um, had a good friend who um, ran the Sonic Adventure Two um, reanimate. If you've seen that, and um, they. It, they, we got to talking and they inspired me to start a reanimation project. And that was back in 2018. And the first thing that came to my head was SATIM because I loved it growing up. I felt like a lot of people don't know about it as much or appreciate it as much. So I just really, really wanted to get a group of fans together, celebrate it in the best way we possibly could and just show it to the world and hope it sticks. And I, I think we did an incredible job and I'm glad. People genuinely uh, connected with it. Of course. Yeah. Of course. I thought it was absolutely fantastic how all those little animations are put together. It's really brilliant. I, I'm a big fat, Sat IM fan myself. So I've been a fan ever since the beginning, since 1993. Nice. So <laughs> nice. I was bored. Of, I'm sorry, go ahead. Yeah, I'm more of a seasoned um, Sonic fan. Um, you know, I was seven years old when. So, um, uh, Sonic came into existence in 1991. So I've been oh, there wow. since the beginning. But anyway, um, yeah. Sorry, so, someone else wanted to say something. Uh, I was just gonna. I was just gonna see if Yalsifer wanted to uh, potentially answer that. Uh, act, actually, oh, wait, uh, actually, no. I just re- actually was really. It was. Uh, it was just for Mega Motion, right? Never mind. <laughs> uh, never. Never mind. My apologies. My apologies. I, confu- I confused myself for a second there. Uh, but yes. Uh, <laughs> All right, did that did that answer your that do you feel like that it uh, properly answered your question there Giovanni? Yes, it did. Thank you very much for allowing me to speak. Thank you. Oh, no of worries. Course. Thanks for coming. Absolutely. No problem. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you Giovanni. <laughs> yes, see ya. Oh, there we go. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, no problem. Uh, let's see. We'll bring another one up here. Let's bring up uh, let's bring up more arms. <laughs> Speaking of the devil, I was shouting. I was shouting them out earlier. Hello, yeah. <laughs> hey, howdy, hello, hey, hey. hello. Yeah, uh, just to correct you, it's pronounced Worms T Seventeen. There's a T in there, but oh, uh, my, my apologies. No, I'm, no, I made okay, that okay. same. I made that same mistake. I made the same mistake when I was shouting when I was shouting him out. So it's it's fun. It's all right. Um, I do have a question. Um, I'll ask Kelsa for this because I don't think I've ever, we've chatted before, but I don't think I've ever asked her this question. Having done Reduced and looking at SAM, is what aspect do you think of the show that has been both under, underrated and yet overrated? Like, is there something that you think the show has been, you know, not as taught as enough one aspect versus another aspect that's been like overhyped or maybe a bit overrated for fandoms and stuff, if that makes any sense? Hmm. Very interesting question. Um, 
to answer that, I I'd have to say like kind of like the like like the overall like story or kind of like the setting. I've always felt like um I've I've seen like a couple of, of episodes of Saturday Night. I kind of like know a little bit on it, but something mm-hmm. that I feel is like like as much as like the story of it like makes sense like something about like like the whole like thing about there are these freedom fires who are um who who are like trying to like stop this bad guy from taking over the world like like it's something that's obviously like been done in like a bunch of like other different stuff um but so, but for me like knowing like that that thing has been going on for like about two seasons like like two seasons from the official show it's like it makes sense, but at the same time, it may be kind of overrated. I'm not for certain, <laughs> uh, but right. um, but I still appreciate it as it's like all a thing, though. Like, mm-hmm. uh, like obviously, it's like like with the char- like with the characters, and you know, like everything, like all the other elements of the story, kind of makes up for it. Mm-hmm. Like I said, what other aspect do you think is unappreciated as much in the show for you? Is there another bit you don't think gets as much love? Oh yeah, uh, definitely something that gets some um, underappreciation. I definitely want to say, um, just from like the knowledge that I have of the show, I definitely feel like Tails gets a bit of underappreciation. I do like mm-hmm. like um, a bit of his character in the show. I real, I really, mm-hmm. um, I really feel like um, with Saturday, I'm just, I'm I I really do feel like with with AOSTH or Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog, like it showed more of the brotherly bond between Tails and Sonic, mm. but Sat AM I feel doesn't do that that much, like not mm. as much as Adventures. Mm. I mean, you just use Sally as like the main secondary character, whereas Tails is like pushed to the side, even though he's like the main second character they introduced to the series. Yeah, exactly. Hmm. But does right. that uh, does that answer your question? Yeah, that's that's a fine answer. Um, again, thank you for the, just a quick thing. Thank you for the shouts for everyone involved with this project. Again, it's nice to know that you know we're sort of a part of now this legacy of the show in some form or way in this reanimate project. And yeah, it's just great to be a part of it. I completely agree. I completely agree with that. I liked what, I liked I liked your uh, little entry into it as well. By the way, <laughs> <laughs> thank you. It took a while, yeah. but it was worth it. <laughs> it definitely looked like it for sure, for sure. <laughs> thank you <laughs> if, you, if you notice that team from the work <laughs> <laughs> all righty uh all right thank you war thank you warm sd i almost said it again uh <laughs> <laughs> okay. all right thank you thank you warm sd <laughs> yeah, yeah thank, thank you, you for yeah, the question yeah. yeah yes yeah take care everyone uh, absolutely yeah, take care you too all right, We're off to uh, a great stuff. That's great. Let's keep going. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, Josh, you want to keep us rolling, my friend? <laughs> sure. Let's let's go for it. All right. Let's see here. Uh, uh, let's see. Let's get Cam Cam VA up in here. All right, Cam Cam, come on down. There, Cam. Hey, how you doing, I'm Cam? Cold you yeah, me too. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> I'm on it. I'm on it. <laughs> All right. Yeah, we bring uh, once once Cam <laughs> raises the hand again. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Uh, I was about to say, nobody say it yet. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Whoa. You guys yeah, are you doing? Oh, clear. Yeah. oh, thank goodness. There's this <laughs> question I really wanted to get off my chest. Um, go for it. During the scene where uh, Sonic and Sally thought that um, they um, like shut down the power source, like the backup, there was this face that Sonic made and <laughs> how did the team come up with that? I like, think eh, wrong. it took many years of blood, sweat and sacrifice to come up with such an iconic face. <laughs> um, I, I think it's an adventure <laughs> reference, isn't it? When Sonic's on the ship and he's like, oh yeah, this is happening. <laughs> so I, I think, <laughs> I think oh. that just made its way into Reduce and it kind of became an icon <laughs> for our social I mean- media. I think I know exactly what you're talking about, but I'm pretty sure it's <laughs> yeah. the moment where he goes like, watch out, you're going to crash. Ah! Oh, <laughs> you, that might be it. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> oh, no. I'm a fake fan, sorry. <laughs> oh, yeah, that was that was funny. Like, hey, wrong. <laughs> thanks anyway, for bringing that. Thanks I think asking, everybody loves thanks it. Thanks for so answering thank my you. question and happy Halloween. Happy, happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. Halloween to you. Same to you. All right. Mm-hmm. Next on the list... 
Let's bring up Jack O'Selly. Absolutely. Like Come on Jack up. There you are. Hey there. Hey then. First off, uh, congratulations on making the uh, the Sat AM rejuiced on the YouTube channel. Well, um, I actually loved it. It um, <laughs> I just love the uh, the 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 racing car parts uh, of Sonic versus the robotic uh, Jaguar. Those are incredible. That completely blew me away every time someone submitted one of those scenes. Ah, uh, yes, indeed. It, all right. So my question is, um, how how did you who um started making the uh, the Sonic XAM rejuiced before or um the anniversary appeared or uh, thirty years ago? Uh, it just kind of happened by accident. Uh, <laughs> the, the project was in development for five years, I think. And um, it was kind of slow winded. We definitely took the more turtle winning the race route rather than the hair. And um, it, it all just happily lined up together. I think the team, a lot of our members really, really wanted this to come out for the anniversary and they pushed themselves and worked incredibly hard uh, to get it out. Like everybody started collabing on scenes. They started sharing it on social media, like begging people to join. And honestly, <laughs> it's. It's because of the effort of all of our members who stuck with us the entire way that uh, we made it for the anniversary, and I'm I'm incredibly, incredibly proud we did. Yes, I totally agree. Yeah, I just basically loved loved it because uh, the Sat AM was also my childhood because I think I watched it when I was a kid in New York. I think it was like in in uh, in the presence of the two thousands and. And um, hmm. I believe my favorite was the um, the one that they that they destroyed the uh, Robotnik's Bay base uh, of Sonic with uh, Sonic and Sally. Oh, the finale, yeah, yeah, the finale. Mm-hmm. All right, did, did that uh, did that answer your question? Yes, it's, uh, keep up the good work. Uh, make make a motion, we'll, and we'll see you know, if you have more projects for for everyone. We'll see. Thank you so much for coming in. No problem. Thank you, Jack O. Let Sally not lantern. Because uh, <laughs> oh, we ain't get. I'm gonna stop with this joke. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, I knew where you were going. <laughs> what I do, anyways. Uh, let's see. Oh, I got a. Let's see. I got a highlight in the. Uh, let me see. Was that a text? Qu- let me jump to present. Good old Discord. Right. Oh, oh, it's just Sally saying. I heard that. Yeah, that was, that was well. That was the point, wasn't it? Anyway, uh, I believe it's my turn now, right? Uh, yes, sir. All right. All righty. In that case, I'll go ahead and get, uh, bring up another person that I another person that I was shouting out earlier, Mr. Evan Stout. Hello, yeah. Hello. Hello, Evan. Yo, Evan. How's Yo. it going? <laughs> You're pretty good, man. Happy Sunday. <laughs> Yeah, all is. right. Well, I, I guess, totally uh, forgot it was Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> I actually uh, totally forgot. <laughs> it feels yeah. like Saturday. It feels like Saturday for me because I'm having a freaking ball. <laughs> oh, it really does. Dang. It's the longest weekend I've ever experienced. <laughs> oh gosh. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I guess I mean being part of the project, I don't have a whole lot of questions about you know what came out. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> I am curious uh, how you managed to organize the project with so many people for so long. A lot of trial and error, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> um, making it up as you go, I guess. Rolling with the punches. It's, yeah, pretty much. I, I, like I said, I, I've been a... Oh, oh no! Sorry, I got taken for a moment there. I'm about to say, we don't need you dying on us now. <laughs> Discord, <laughs> Discord happened for a moment. I've been a part of quite a few reanimation projects in the past, so I guess I just... Um, took my experiences, took what I didn't like about them, and uh, tried my best to avoid going down the same route. Because um, honestly, a lot of reanimation projects don't see the light of day. Mm-hmm. So um, I honestly just, I from the get-go, I did not want to be one of those projects. I wanted to, even if I failed, do as much as I can and get as much help from everybody to um, actually make it to the end. And honestly, it's, again, like I said before, it's because of all the members. Now we actually made it to where we are. Like, 
I'm just a guy with like 20 followers on Twitter. <laughs> it, it's because of all the hard work, all the incredible animations, the music, the collabs, the sharing on the social medias. I said that like a boomer. <laughs> that, um, we made it this far, honestly. Just the passion. Like, I, I owe Sorry, yeah. all of you way more than I owe myself, genuinely. So no, thank you so much. It's very humble. It's very, I, very I awesome. definitely want to, uh, <laughs> I'd like to jump in on one of the things that, uh, that mega motion mentioned um um yeah. about um about how he how um he's seen like like several reanimated projects that haven't quite made it to the finish um i have participated in like a few reanimated projects myself and i believe this project is like either either like the first or second really that has really been completed so i totally understand that i totally understand where you're coming from it's the uh, first Mega one Motion. I've seen. It's the first one I've seen anywhere. Uh, in fact, before I even started, I was actually looking for uh, Sad AM Reduced somewhere on YouTube, and I couldn't find anything until uh, until I found Mega Motion's channel. There was a bunch of. Uh, I think he had a couple of trailers out. People were posting their own clips, and I'm like, "Oh man, this is actually in progress. Let me jump in on this." <laughs> So he no, found it like completely by accident. That's incredible. Yeah, because I was wondering, I'm like, man, I wonder if anybody's done anything of Sad AM. And it turns out not really before, or at least it hasn't been done. And then I realized, wait, there's one in the works right now that I could jump in on. <laughs> and there you go. Some of the some of the great some of the greatest and some of the greatest inventions of all time were made on accident. So <laughs> <That's true. laughs> Yeah, wow. I also um, just to say real quick, I I also had um, just stumbled upon the project by accident. I don't remember how it happened, but I just remember I saw like the pin message on like the Twitter page, and I was like, "Oh, this seems interesting. Let me go check. Let me go apply for this." And the rest is history. It's <laughs> awesome. Well, yeah, uh, sounds good. Yeah, I um, I highly appreciate all the kind words for my work. Uh, it really does mean a lot from everybody. Uh, talking to man. Keith and everybody from season three. Uh, yeah, and I'm hoping to take what I've learned from this and apply it to my new project, Sonic the Hedgehog yeah. Act Two. Oh, yeah. 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 I definitely, so, uh, I definitely want to see, sorry, I was interrupting. I was saying, I definitely want, I just, I just wanted to say, I definitely want, I definitely want to see that now because I actually do like genuinely love, I genuinely loved your part in the Rejuice. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, man. Yeah, I'm trying to go above and beyond on this thing. We're going to try to, Bring in some professional work. I'm hoping to get some uh, uh, some help from professional actors. I'm trying to figure out how to do that. But we're going to go all in on this film trailer just to see more of like a concept trailer, just to see what people think. If they like it, it might go further. We'll see. We're going to do one step at a time. There you go. We're going to support you the whole way, dude. We're going to try to bring. Let's, let's get you a Q and A. <laughs> That would be next year. Oh, totally. Maybe next year. We'll see what happens. Heck, we heck we could heck. I'd be willing. I'd be willing to do. I'd be willing to do one in our main server even. Oh, <laughs> man. Yeah, I'm up for anything. I'm, I'm trying to get this project off the ground. So, if, you know, if there's any way to bring it forward and to keep it going, I'm going to do it. <laughs> All righty. Awesome. Good. Well, thank you so much for time, the time. Man. Thanks for yeah. coming in. I'm, I'm, I'm going to. Get off here. Nah, <laughs> nah, 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 <laughs> Give me off. Yeah, absolutely. I got you. I got you. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Finally, we got rid of him. Here. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> like, dang. <laughs> Yeah. Before we get before we get to the next person, I saw a text question um uh, by Beckham. Oh, uh, yes, by oh, um, Yes, by Beckhamation in the stage room text. Uh, why did you decide to go for burning for burning way past cool for the intro parentheses and got it beautifully remade? Copyright. That is a that is a good answer. That is a really good answer. <laughs> it, it, yeah, every time you upload anything to do with Satyam, if it's got that intro in it, it immediately gets flagged by YouTube. So um, I reached out to. Michael Kladinsky, I hope I said that right. And he was so into helping us make a new intro. So we found, um, because of good Groovy Jake, he uploaded a beta intro for Satyam, the one that they um, cut last minute. I think I think it might have aired on the pilot. I'm not sure. 
But um, we remade that one and it came out so beautifully. I, I cannot believe how well it came out and it fit the project perfectly. So I'm, I'm super happy with how that happened. Wasn't there like also like a music video that he made on his channel with that same song? Yeah, yeah, no, there's there's a music video. So if you um, type in Michael K on YouTube and then Burning Way Pascal, you'll get a full music video of um, Sonic Reduce in the background. That was kind of like a um, early preview for the trailer, I think. I think his video came out before the trailer. So no, check that out. It's going to be great. Yeah, it's literally so cool. <laughs> it's Burning Way Pascal, you may say. Hey! <laughs> Absolutely, and I was and I was mentioning this in our pre in our little in our little pre panel meeting, but like I've I've lit- like I literally like that like what y'all did with that so much that it's been stuck in my head ever since. <laughs> I'm so hey. I was so stressed because um, fastest thing alive is such an iconic song for Sonic, so I I'm so glad everybody liked Burning Way Bus School, and it's all thanks to Michael. Yeah, it was it's it was it was a it was a it was a it was a unique change of pace just because I don't usually because I don't usually see that being used as the opening. So it should have been. Yeah, <laughs> I, I can agree with that. <laughs> All right, I believe uh, I believe Dust you or you would pick the next person. Uh, yeah, because yeah. I already picked the last person. Yeah. <laughs> yep, that would be me. Just looking on through it. We've got next. Uh, let's go ahead and call up uh again i'm gonna try not to pr- butcher this armr i'm not sure how to pronounce it exactly um but A-R-M-R. We'll bring yeah armr armor armor maybe yeah armor i know your name to pronounce <laughs> yeah i just i didn't want to get it wrong so you know <laughs> i was just guessing <laughs> <laughs> do you all give me a loud clip yes sir. Yeah, we, okay yes. okay mm-hmm. I the, this was this project was such a delight. Like ever since I saw this project back, in, I think I believe in 2018, right? Oh no! Yes, it was. <laughs> yeah, and it had so much promise, and and after it, it grows so much with so many clips, it was just amazing, and I couldn't wait to see it finally be finished. And and it was here, and when I watched it, it was amazing, and I watched it again just. To, dig deep down into the secrets to see that you guys hit any small little funny details. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, uh, my question is, um, out of all the episodes that are in Sat AM, why did you choose Sonic Racer? Uh, it was a really easy episode for uh, new fans to get into. And I, mm. I felt like it was a great mix of Game Sonic and Sat AM Sonic. I, I just tried to choose the most action-filled, fast-paced episode that really showed Sonic's personality and all the other characters. So yeah, it, that, it was just a great, a great general episode. And I think it's a fan favorite as well, but, I, but I'm not yeah, sure. Yeah, if it's yeah, that, yeah. I, yeah. Every time I load up, like I have like my dual pack of season one, season two, at am, and I always watch that episode every time. It was, it was like my absolute favorite. Yeah, I think that's like a huge reason. I think. That's one of the only few episodes people have watched because it was on VHS and DVD back in the day. So it, yeah. it was a really good pick. And it had those uh, commercials when they played. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much for um, supporting us from the very beginning. Yeah, like, you're A lot of people don't join from 2018. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, it was just... Um, I, I ran to this project back in 2018 and, and I was like, wow, I, I cannot wait to see this finish because... Sonic Race, it was like literally my favorite episode of all time. And I just couldn't wait to see all these talented, amazing people to recreate every single shot of the episode to see what the final product would be like. And I was just blown away. I mean, so much. Thank you so much. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you, Armor. I will go ahead and... Thank you very much. Let's move you back down. And uh, I only see you one hand up. Just a, just a reminder, y'all, if you want to have your... Um, question asked uh yeah uh, make sure to press the little raise your hand button if you're unable to um have your if you're unable to come on stage to ask your question just mess just uh uh put your text question in the chrono stage room and ping me your dust over here and uh, we will make sure to get it get it to get to your question as quickly as possible 
And with that being said, I'll go ahead and get the first person I see on my list. Uh, Levi C. Parentheses. Levi. I can't read the rest of that, but not I Levy. See- so it's, it's, it's just making sure. <laughs> yeah, I changed my nickname <laughs> just to make sure that you could pronounce Le- my name correctly. Le- oh, I, I'm, 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 I might be stupid. Uh, <laughs> I, I kind of thought that's what it might be, and decided that's how I usually <laughs> pronounce it: is Levi, not Levy. That's what that kind of took me yeah. for a loop. <laughs> That's how I know people have watched Attack on Titan if they pronounce me by wrong. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, my question. Um, I was wondering if you were to do a reduced type project for Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog, what episode would you pick to reanimate? Ooh. That's a good one. <laughs> Ooh. Um, I really like the pilot episode of Adventures of Sonic. I think that's just an outstanding episode. So I, I'd pick that one. The one with Jim Cummings in it? Yeah. Okay. That'd be it. Sorry, go um, right ahead. Uh, okay, you're, you're good, Josh. You're good. Um, like, obviously, I was only like a participant. Um, I, I was only like one of the participants, but it would be really interesting to see something like that for Adventures. If I had to choose a specific episode, um, I think I might have to go off the episodes that I have seen. I want to say either uh, either Two Tall Tales or whatever, whichever one it was where where Tails is the one to have to save Sonic. I cannot remember the name of it, but I, I probably I probably will say for my answer Two Tall Tales just because I, I kind of like that episode. <laughs> but I would, I would- I'm sorry, go ahead. I, didn't, I was interrupting you. Go ahead. <laughs> oh no, you, you can go. You can go ahead if you want. No, I was just gonna. I was gonna say that would be a trip. <laughs> yeah, I was just. Yeah, I'm. I'm just like thinking like with Rejuice, there were like so many like funny bits in the shots. Imagine how crazy it would get to do Avengers of Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> like yeah. how absolutely crazy it could get. <laughs> For sure. All right. Did that uh, answer your question, Levi? <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. That's great. Um, Thank you for joining. Absolutely. Let's get some more questions, guys. <laughs> don't be shy. <laughs> That's it. Don't be shy. Let's see who we've got up next. Up next, we got somebody by the name of AZ. <laughs> and if nobody else raises their hand, we can call it uh, Evan back up. Why not? Uh, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Hey there. Hey, how you doing? Um, hey. I asked a question. Yeah. Um, was the- so, for Sorry, reduced good. for all of the scenes, how long did it overall take? Uh, five years. <laughs> five years. Oh. I, I, it's, a, it's a bit of a mixed bag because um, for the first two years, it was just building the Twitter. And um, originally, we were just called uh, Satyam Reanimated. And that was just for the intro of the show. And it failed miserably. I, I didn't know how to admin. I didn't know how to make connections or anything like that. So um, mm-hmm. the project was cancelled for quite a bit. And then we rebooted as Sonic the Hedgehog reduced and everybody seemed to have a lot more faith in the project. And yeah, it took another three years from then. We, we made it to the anniversary. It was a five years um, worthwhile. Yes, 100%. The, the amount of incredible people I've met, like genuinely the most kindest and creative Sonic fans ever. Um, it, it's made one of the best communities I've ever been a part of and I, I would never take it back for a second. I'm going to pull a Uno reverse and say, you are also very kind and supportive. Making me blush. (laughs) (laughs) All right. uh, That answers your question there, AZ. Uh, I'm I'm presuming you said yes there. Your mic cut off. Uh, Yes. All right. right. Have a good one, AZ. Thank you. Thank you there, AZ. All righty, and uh, the um, there's no new hands raised, uh, but in the meantime, I guess I'll go ahead and call um, Warm ST17 up. See, I almost did it again. Uh, there we go. We got it this time. <laughs> there we go. He's wormed his way back in. What's going on, dude? <laughs> <laughs> nah, I've got an idea. I've got another question. This one for Mega. Um, having I've done this project, what is the biggest lesson you've learned from it? Either from running it, planning it, getting every shot in, and editing. What's like the one thing you took it away from? Either as doing something like this in the future. Uh, 
it was a lot. It was a way bigger task than I thought it was. And I think that's the exact same for a lot of reanimation projects and why they get cancelled. Mm-hmm. Um, but I, I think the best thing to learn from it is to just keep being as loud as possible, keep sharing clips, annoy people on Twitter like I did. <laughs> <laughs> and honestly, genuinely, um, I've seen this mistake with so many reanimation projects and I'm not going to point or name people, but it's super, super important to actually make a community around your project, that talk to mm-hmm. people, ask them how they are, engage with their artwork, engage with them as actual people and show people that you're going to stick around. Because mm-hmm. um, a lot of projects and servers, the admin just kind of disappears when they realize um, they're not getting the traction they wanted. So um, I, I think when you were there quite early and you saw that even when it was just a small group of us, we were all chatting every day. Mm-hmm. We were coming up with plans and what we needed to do. Mm-hmm. Like a lot of the things that happened with our project, it was a group effort, like all the ideas, like getting a new intro, um, finding different ways to advertise the project. Like it was from everybody because we built a really good community. And I think that's really important for future mm-hmm. reanimation hosts. Yeah. Again, you, you're totally right. Sorry to keep saying how great you are and amazing. But again, generally, <laughs> being not really this, not. <laughs> <laughs> but generally, as you said, being a part of this project, it was, we would generally, we would, I would chat to you a lot about different things about what was going on. And then once the game with Kelsifer mm-hmm. and Stoven and loads of other people, again, you were very much, and even Nico Star, who was, again, sort of secondhand man, really, for this project, who would constantly look over stuff and we chat Nico to him. kept me going. <laughs> yeah, they, yeah, every, yeah. Time, every time I was, um, too nice or like too quiet he just he would just slap everybody and be like oi yeah i often say like is he okay and hopefully no one's saying anything bad about it because that was my main worry when i asked him is like is mega okay it's like he's fine don't worry it's like oh good <laughs> <laughs> yeah he, he he kept he kept the uh fire going but also made sure it didn't just burn everything <laughs> he was he was incredible no <laughs> he was a great admin yeah I do, this will be the last thing, I do find it fascinating, as you said, the fact that we got this done and the fact we are, we're still the first people to do a reanimated project on a Saturday AM cartoon, which, I, again, that's just like an extra treat doing this whole... Oh, yeah, there, there's project. been a lot of um, deep Sonic reanimation project, and mm-hmm. I'm... I, I, I couldn't even dream that we'd be... we'd actually finish it. So, I genuinely, thank you all. <laughs> Uh, yeah, but that's that's it. Again, as ever, thank you for the time. Thanks for being part of this project. And I'm glad that we are now part of this weird legacy of the show, which, you know, it may be it may be a cult, but it's it's got a lot of people <laughs> who love it. You know, it's a lot of people love it. And as you say, everyone who's come into this project has been wonderful, pretty much. They've just been amazing. Yeah, it's a wholesome cult, you know. Just <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> no bad vibes here. That's <laughs> thank it. you. That's yeah. the check. <laughs> Yes, indeed. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. Shout out to Nico, by the way. He he goes like he he probably had he probably had my fav- he probably had my favorite part. My they probably had my favorite parts in this whole thing. Just like they had like so because like they like they had like so many. You did you did oh, everyone did fantastic, but like they 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 because they were the person I saw the most. <laughs> <laughs> they were an absolute titan for this project. So yeah, shout out to Nico stuff. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. But uh, yes. Thank, thank you, Warm ST. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, thank you, dude. I have a good one. Yeah, you can bring stuff back in if you want now. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, well, we'll uh, I'll check to see if there's any other hands raised. Um, Rose, okay. purse up. You, you, yeah. I, I know how to English, but <laughs> you get what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, right. take care uh, again. All right. No, thank you. Anybody in the chat, if you've got any question, like if you want to talk about your favorite episode or your favorite scene or just like anything you want to know about the project, no question is stupid. We're not going to point and laugh at you. Just ask away and have a nice little chat. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, Dus is AFK, so that's okay. I'll get, I'll get the next person. No big deal. Um, let's Are see. there any um, chat questions? I think there's like 15. I've got a notification for 15 messages. I don't know if that's... Uh, let me double check. Oh, that the, those are a lot of join and leaving messages. Never mind. Yeah, don't worry about that. Uh, but <laughs> anyways, uh, let's see. Uh, lost my train of thought for a second there. Uh, <laughs> Sorry. 
Yeah, that's okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, okay, uh, let's go ahead since I have they haven't picked had their hand um hand up yet. So oh um I can't they haven't been picked yet rather. Uh Omega Mer- Omega, Mar- I'm probably going to screw this name right up. Omega Maruder 1977. That is a really interesting name. Uh, how's it going? Hi. Uh, it's been great to talk with you guys. It's been great to talk with your accomplished people. I wanted to ask you, what is this? What are your thoughts on the state of the animation industry and you know the direction? in which the animation industry is going and you know this has been you must have heard about the layoffs and the cancellations of animation projects i wanted to know what is your take what are you on about Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. for example do you know that a dream you know you must know dreamworks animation they have like laid off some of the employees yeah, no, bye. This is not related. <laughs> yeah, absolutely not. Yeah, no. Keep uh, keep it on topic, please. Anyways, <laughs> I'll go ahead and get Evan Stout back up instead. All right. Hello I'm again, back. Evan. Whoa! How you, whoa! Hello. Hi. Oh, Hello so again. I, uh, I think I got kicked out. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, Almost in the wind. Maybe I don't know. <laughs> But uh, let's see. So I'm actually curious on everybody. This is a question for everybody. Uh, what kind of stands out? Well, what about Sad AM stands out against the rest of the Sonic franchise to everybody? Uh, the good, the bad, just anything you got. I, I think being such an early part of Sonic's franchise that it um, built a lot of Sonic's character that people don't really appreciate or see. Um, I, I know a lot of people tend to just discard the cartoons and be like, it's got nothing to do with the games. Why would you care about those? But honestly, if you look back, Sonic was an incredibly confused franchise. <laughs> and um, <laughs> a lot of what Sega tried in every region didn't stick. And a lot of Jaleel White's performance of Sonic is still really, really um, integral to how we view Sonic today. I mean, even when it comes to any of the voice actors, the first thing they listen to is Jaleel White's take to make their own voices. So, um, what was the question? <laughs> really, just uh, say what. <laughs> it's all good. Uh, just anything that kind of like what stands out to you. Uh, this goes for anybody about the show uh, that uh, makes it special amongst uh, the rest of the Sonic franchise. What makes it special to you? That, that was the question. Yeah. <laughs> Again, Jaleel White being such an early force for the show. And um, just the writing for the episodes was just incredible for the time. Like They really pushed Satyam to be a really high quality that you didn't really see in a lot of shows for the time. Mm-hmm. Like it, it was practically movie quality but as a TV show. It's, you can compare it to other Sonic cartoons of the time, and it's such a black and white difference that it's insane. Those matte paintings are insane. <laughs> yeah, it, it's the phenomenal. So I, I think that's what truly stands out about Satyam. Like, even if you don't particularly like that take of Sonic or the Americanized version of him, just the amount of raw passion and care they took to make this show really makes it stand up for today. And uh, 100% is the reason why it's a cult classic. It really stands up. Mm. What are you, Kelsifer? Oh, yeah. Um, so I think for my answer of... Uh, just making sure I got the question, like like something that stands out to me the most about the show. Mm-hmm. I would definitely have to say that like the characters, like the main cast of characters, yeah. like um, I def- I especially want to point out like uh, Bunny because um, I mean I wasn't born in like the 1990s around that time. Obviously, I'm 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 more of a 2000 kid, but uh, but so, yeah. um, <laughs> a lot of the um. From from my general knowledge of like like um, media in the 1990s, a lot of female characters are kind of like, to for lack of better words, they're kind of like carbon copies of each other. But I feel like Bunny was like so like unique in her own way, like like from her design to to like her be, like uh, behavior and all that. 
I just really love her her like character in the show as well as uh I also like Sally like m- maybe for like I feel she maybe also she I'd also like say she's a bit of a carbon copy like from other medias but she has her own uniqueness still and I also like other characters like Rotor and Antoine of course and Sniffly and and <laughs> uh and Robotnik as well like oh, yeah. just the main, just the main reappearing ca- characters um, in the show uh, is probably what stands out to me the most. Like, yeah, <laughs> it's the, cl- the classic American cast, man. Before all the video game characters, man. <laughs> yeah, so cool. The OGs, the OGs. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> you got something, Dust? Oh man, I mean, what could you really say? I, for me, the thing that like. <laughs> stands out right away is how well written it was just Mm. it was leaps and bounds above so much at the time and it just yeah yeah the absolute world building for example (laughs) that's exactly that's exactly what i love about is they actually built up this world around it and they they just write it and run did they (laughs) no kidding and John, it, 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 oh, oh, sorry, yeah, Josh. Oh, go ahead. Sorry. Oh, you're good. Oh, you're good. You're good. Um, uh, what was the question again? <laughs> Basically, what stands <laughs> out, like what about Sonic Stadium stands out to you amongst the rest of the Sonic franchise? Like, what makes it very special to you? If anything. Oh god, oh, god. it's a. Uh, I mean, by my by my own admission, as a ki- by my own admission, I was watching a lot more Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog growing up as a kid. Like Sadiem was definitely a show I realized later on that I re- that I enjoyed. Um, I think one and um, considering considering both shows came out roughly around the same time, I've always I always found it really really fascinating how like complete polar opposites they are in terms of tone from an, from one another, like. Uh, <laughs> Like Adventure Side the Hedgehog, you know, it's like it's it's like it's like all it's like all slapstick and not exa- doesn't exactly have a connected plot, and you know they just you know and you you could pretty much watch every episode in in order without without getting lost, and you know the going crazy, but in but in uh, yeah. sad but then in Sad AM, there's like actually like kind of like a consistent plot. There's you know they had um you know they they had like really like really really deep stuff, really deep stuff going on in the show is real like it was really emotional at times like it's probably one of the few times i think i've ever seen sonic cry yes. in a show for yeah. example and uh, anyway. you know <laughs> and uh you know i'm i will i mean i i i wish that i wish there was a season three like everyone else wants a season three you know <laughs> um but yeah it's just it's just, i think it's just just something about like yeah like also what dust was mentioning too like you know like they 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 took had an idea and ran and ran with it ran a whole freaking friggin', friggin hundred yard hundred meter dash on up on every uh, and on and went for uh, seconds everybody. yeah and went for and went for sec and went for seconds you, it, like they you compete in the Olympics with how much they've been running uh, yeah. so yeah I feel like that's uh, my best the best way I can think of is just. That's great. The com- yeah. yeah, the complete op- the complete polar opposite was from Adventure of the Sonic the Hedgehog, but like, but like done correctly. <laughs> yeah, I, just, I, I feel that's what makes the show so special at the time because it was at a point like uh, I think it was Mega Motion. He said that yeah, it, it, Sonic could have been really anything at the time. It didn't really have a huge identity yet. So yeah. it, you know, Deke uh, Sega of America, whoever was involved, can just. The, they can take an idea and uh, make their own identity with Sonic at the time. Absolutely, uh, make an entire story out of out of very little. And he's just got his. I don't know. It's uh, very different from the rest of the rest of the franchise. Um, sorry, I was going somewhere with that. It's just great. The characters are so so good. Uh, th- there's more than they could uh, th- they could do with the characters emotionally uh, at that point in time before it was a huge brand and just to see a, a, just a bunch of teenagers hanging out in the forest living the best they can helping each other out fighting an evil dictator taking back their planet like that if you if you take that and, and, and replace the characters with, with anything else that, that would still be very entertaining to see just, just you and your friends you know hanging out in the forest 
and fighting for a better tomorrow. Like that's just so cool. <laughs> <laughs> Is your blue streak speed by all that jazz? Uh, <laughs> speeds by. I, I must. I messed up. I messed up the first lyric. I'm not a fake fan. I swear. Fake uh, fan. I swear. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, thank you so much. Uh, th- thanks for the time. I'll let Giovanni. <laughs> thanks for coming back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keeping it going. All awesome. right. Thank you. Thank you. Right, and I think I we really got. Really like talking about Sam. For sure. <laughs> sure. All I do. Like, for sure. Too. Sorry for interrupting. I was going to mention we have just a little over five minutes left, I believe. So, oh, wow. Get get your questions in, people. <laughs> <Speed> <laughs> yes. Uh, yes. Um, I think I guess I already, I already picked somebody. Would you like to pick the next person there, Dust? Uh, here, let me just go ahead and bring this up on the screen. It looks like uh, you got one person with their hands up that will run us out here. This is uh, Gwen Longcryer Cat. Bring Gwen in here. Hey. Oh, hey there. I thought Giovanni was actually going to get picked. Uh, they had their <laughs> hand up before I did. <laughs> they put it. They put it down like immediately. They put it back down, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, oh my gosh. Uh, yeah. So Mega Motion. Uh, it was an absolute blast to work with you on this project. I'm just wondering for myself now. Uh, what was it like even organizing this project in the first place? It. It was a lot of work. It, it was just um, at the beginning, just zero followers and like all of my accounts. Like it was, it took a long time to um, get people to have any faith in the project, I guess. Because, yeah. uh, like I said before, um, a lot of projects don't get released. So there's a huge stigma, I guess, around reanimation projects. Like, why would I join one of those? It's just going to be abandoned anyway. So I, it took. A very long time to get a general sense of our project out into the open. So, um, yeah, it, just, it was just a lot of trying to convince myself and everybody else that this is going to happen. So, it was a long time, long time coming. Uh, oh, yeah. People really want to see that commitment and that body of work whenever they're looking at uh, joining or, uh, uh, it, or really supporting a project before it goes out for release, and that's it. And I'm and I'm just kind of curious about that journey of when you thought the the, the project was actually really picking up steam. Uh, it it's because of um, I'm forgetting the name. One second, uh, Michaela, Michaela, uh, she made the um, scene of Sonic falling down and going, "Hey, that's a perfect ten. And yes! it was such. A perfect storm. I couldn't believe it. I was begging her to make a social media because um that she released that scene and let me post it around the time Space Jam 2 was coming out. So everybody and every social media was um just talking about Space Jam and that kind of like art style, the realistic shading. And Twitter picked up her scene and shared it to like the entire website. It was insane. So mm-hmm. as soon as that scene got traction, uh we got spammed with emails we got spammed with followers and people were like holy moly there's a sadiem reanimation project so <laughs> as soon as that happened i was like wow i've really got to stick with this now because people are hoping and like relying on me to get this done so oh, yeah, yeah thanks to michaela definitely, yeah very very big things to michaela and I, obviously i've got to reiterate it's because of everybody else in the project as well but like that specific scene of Michaela, that is like that changed the future. We got the good future from that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Definitely. It was just an absolute pleasure to get to meet all of you and to even just work with all of you on the project. Yeah. Honestly, same. Like again, I feel like I'm genuinely friends with a lot of you and the community we built is just unmatched, genuinely. So thank you for sticking with it. Like the project came out like what, two months ago now? And yeah, the project is I'm still, the, the service is still going. <laughs> it's so surprising to see that this has, what, uh, near over, near uh, 100,000 views or over 100,000 views now. So How many, many people know about Satyam now. <laughs> yeah. It's so amazing. <laughs> it, it's mind blowing. I never thought we'd get here. Right. Did that, yeah, uh... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hand the floor to someone else. You take care. <laughs> Have a great yeah, time. You Thank too. you for asking question. Absolutely. 
Thank you so much there, Glenn. Have All a right. Game Pass cool time. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. I believe that I believe that concludes the end of the panel. If y'all, if you make them, if make a motion, Kelsifer, if you all would like to say any final words before we wrap this up. Uh, thank you all for joining and actually wanting to talk about the project and chat with us. It again, absolutely mind blowing that we're here. Mind blowing. We have a community and a fan base who actually want to talk about this. Thank you so much for Sonic Revolution for inviting us. It, it, it's been an incredible journey. Uh, thank you. Appreciate y'all yeah, uh, being here. <laughs> yeah, I'll also say, uh, yeah, thanks, thanks for joining to this to this panel. And I also want to say, mega motion. Thank you so much for for allowing me to be part of the project. I think I joined around like twenty twenty one, so a bit later. But I've I've loved being a part of it every si every single second that I like since I joined to its completion. I've loved every single second of it. Thank you. So you, you are a huge part of our project and it's why you're doing this uh, chat with us. Like genuinely, you, you carried us. So thank you for being there for us the whole time. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> all right. Uh, all, all right. D all right. Dust, I'll let you do the honors. All righty. Thank you all so much for hopping in and having some fun here with the crew of Sonic Set AM Rejuiced. And we noticed a couple of the other crew popping up in here. Thank you guys. <laughs> And thank you for the yeah. questions as well. Um, stay tuned in here. I think it's in about two hours, I think, from here. Yeah, two hours from now. Chrono Stage Room will be occupied with the wonderful Sonic Song 182. Yes, indeed. But, uh, uh, until then, everybody, enjoy the rest of the convention. And thank you for listening. <laughs> Have a great revolution, everybody. Bye. Stay way past cool. Way past. Yeah. Yeah. yeah.